Before we get to the 2024 U.S. Titles Awards, KSUSA wanted to note that with a heavy heart, we shared the news on November 8, 2023 of the passing of our dear friend, Joel Mayer. Joel was a gentle soul with an enthusiastic stoke for kneeboarding and surf photography. You'll find his work all over the KSUSA photo archives because he documented almost all the events over the past two decades. Over the years, Joel could be found shooting from his favorite spot on the Oceanside Jetty. He grew up in Palos Verdes and was a lifelong resident of Oceanside, California. But he spent his last days with his family in Los Alamos. We offer our deepest condolences to his family and friends, but we wanted to honor Joel in a special way by creating the Joel Mayer Best Wave of the Morning. It will be awarded to the top scoring ride in the opening round of the contest, when everyone is either on the beach or in the water. It was his favorite time. He would get photos of everyone and all the best rides. We honor his commitment as a surf photographer and a lifelong knee low surfing evangelist. You'll be missed, Joel. We'll see you on the other side, and we can still hear you say, Knee boards rule! Okay, you guys, this is the double uh, A finalist. They all surfed insane, made it through a lot of heats, and uh, really kicked some ass. So in, in sixth place, we have Richard Wallinger. In fifth place, Mark Van Sluten. Give it to Scott. <laughs> In fourth place, the man from Santa Cruz, California area, Mike Neal. In third place, Alberto Gonzalez Garcia. In second place, maybe one of the most famous men due to his presence on your t-shirt this year, Mr. Ed Dimmick. And in first place, the man with the sweetest hops in Southern California, Chris Lynn. Okay, you guys, AAA finalists. As you guys know, everybody that got to the AAA final, you know, they advanced pretty far in the open, battled hard. Um, but the way the elimination worked this year, you know, these guys moved into the AAA, but that's after, you know, battling it out, as we know. So this has been a very competitive group. Um, in sixth place, our fearless hero, Chris Bashimi. Blaine, we're gonna have to put you in the corner. In fifth place, and the man with the best surfing con costume in <laughs> Huntington Beach, Mike Fernandez! In fourth place, a proud team member from España, Caesar Ariel And third place, this goes to a guy who, quite frankly, is just a battler. This guy has always done well in contests. 
And uh, he's a busy family man, but somehow he just bangs it out and pulls it off. Mr. Jason Foster! <laughs> In second place, kind of a newer face, but a welcome addition to our crew, Mr. Liam O'Kelly. And in first place, this guy might have the most tri triple A trophies of anybody. <laughs> hell of a surfer, hell of a board builder, working a lot with gigs and some cool shapes. Uh, epoxy, he's stoked as always, Mr. Ed Quinn. <laughs> So let's give a special round of applause for our ladies paddling out today with some big surf. I don't know if you saw them, I watched you guys. There is some just streaking waves that you guys got. I saw them going 100 miles an hour on rights, on lefts, riding them all the way to the inside and then battling the paddle back out. So they did exceptionally well. Thank you, ladies. In third place, she always rips, and we love her, Patty Hook. In second place, I think, were you riding the, there was somebody riding this little board that went like literally a thousand miles an hour through the inside on the left. That was going to Rachel Lord. <laughs> well, by process of elimination, we've got our first woman's first place winner and champion from España. Mariana Gonzalez Garcia. <laughs> okay, you guys, these are the results for the open final. I think you should take a look at these guys. Um, time and time again, these guys have risen to the cream of the crop. They ripped in the morning, they ripped in the afternoon, and uh, especially into the final when the conditions got a little bit more challenging. But everybody was putting it together, and I think we all know watching from the beach. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pick out a winner because everybody is surfing so well, and I mean that sincerely. You know, he's a young man. I just gotta say. The waves were good today, and I thought the open final was the best I'd seen. Yeah. 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 Some good surfing. Yeah. The first 10, 15 minutes yeah, off the wall, off yeah. the rails. Absolutely. It was. Um, I think each one of these people that I'm going to mention deserves like a special little story behind them. But in sixth place is a man I'm very proud of. This guy's worked hard. He's got himself in shape. Um, surf really well and rip really hard in the final. Hats off, sixth place, Mr. Sean Noon. In fifth place, I'm happy to say this guy's been a longtime friend of mine. We trade a lot of conversations together. This guy truly is inspirational. He's been big on board design been big on sharing videos, and he's 69 years young, yeah. Mr. Scott yeah. Wesley. Yeah. 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 In 
fourth to place. To <laughs> One of the most consistent, friendliest, at least on land anyways. <laughs> and did it. one of the most spectacular maneuvers of the whole contest and just completely killed it. As usual, fourth place, Mr. Jack Beresford. Yeah. In third place, got to hand it to this guy. I saw him get a barrel across a left section in this morning that seemed almost like it was almost impossible to make, but he did make it, and then the guy was going right and bashing the hell out of some lift, lips, and he came over specifically all the way from Hawaii, Mr. Sean Murphy. <laughs> Here we are, drum roll please. And, and second place, probably one of the fastest surfers in the water, always on rail, going off the lip, floating it, killing it, doing everything that you can do, Mr. Chris Beresford. <laughs> By the way, you get a you get a blast kneeboard, young man. Yeah. Well, I think by process of elimination, it's obvious this year's winner is a guy that. Hey, man, we're really happy to have Kevin join our community. And as, as you guys know, this is sincere, Kevin. This guy's a true waterman. We all know what of his, his talents are on the longboard, but he's taken that same approach to the kneeboard. And, and I do, I do want to say, maybe you guys all saw it today, but in the final, he dropped in on a left and came off the bottom as hard as you could come, straight up into the lip. Didn't think he was going to make it. He pulls it off, comes to the inside, and then I wish there would have been a camera there, but he does this cutback on the left. That was... Probably one of the most insane on-rail carving cutback all the way around. I mean, it was really spectacular, mate. Like Tom Back? <laughs> <laughs> so again, this year's winner and last year's winner, Mr. Consistent, Kevin Scarmata. Yeah, I mean, you know, Joe Mayer, pro photographer, the Penguin, he was an idiot, he was a complete lunatic, but he was our fucking lunatic, and uh, I just want to say, like, if I was going to donate a triple A trophy to anybody, it would be him, so God bless the Penguin. Woo!